Hey guys, so I got this on 6 12 23, um, 12 45 in the morning, and it's called The Priority of Prayer. Okay, Nick and Julie go first, then Gina, the warrior in prayer. I have had my hand on Gina from birth, she has been protected and surrounded. Her commitment to prayer is highly valued. Prayer is the power behind all war. Gina will be brought before me and then taken to my house of prayer. She will be with others who have prayed with vigor through time. Together, they will pray for the war and my provisions. She will be given special armor. Protecting the prayer warriors is of highest priority. She will also train with all of the anointed. At times, she will be brought back to earth for missions. She, like Julie, will be in heaven for the majority of what is to come, watching from on high, for her skills are of higher value here for all. Gina doesn't have the knowledge of how high her rank is in heaven's system. There are many mysteries that shall remain sealed until one's arrival. She will receive a special award for prayerful endurance. This shows the value of a person who highly values prayer and makes coming to my altar her highest priority. She comes understanding her authority under my power, and she does not send useless babbling to me. She prays from the heart and assumes it done in faith. Her humility is respectful, and when she first hears of this today, she will be truly undone and in utter disbelief because she believes everyone prays as she does. But she is unique. I see all from on high. Her value is above the lilies of the fields. She will be honored for the faithful warrior she is. Gina will lead the prayer warriors for the final seven years during the tribulation. I will send many to earth on missions and her responsibility will be to direct prayer for them. This is a high honor and a high responsibility. With other like-minded prayer warriors, Gina will be a key element in our success. Each has a part. Nick evangelizes. Julie will lead the rescues. Gina will lead the warriors of prayer. Her patient endurance and true faith in me through many turbulent years where she consistently turned over her difficulties directly to me in patient endurance is to be honored. These are the ones we celebrate here. She is well matched with Hannah, Samuel's mother, and Mary, the mother of Jesus. Women of faith that suffered much but gave it all to me. Their holiness noted and given honor. I hear Gina because of her consistent commitment to me as well as her level of faith and obedience. I hold up Gina as a standard. Those faithful that wish to understand why some go before in leadership. A lifetime of humble prayer and bold faith, consistently coming to my throne through the ups and downs is to be honored. Her wisdom and experience will help the entire fight. Her skills will be more powerful from Gaboa than from where she is. Before I bring her, I will use her power of prayer to provide and protect through my miracle power. I will bring others who need me to her. She knows how to effectively convert my power in favor of other saints through prayer. All who followed in Gina's footsteps and come to me in true faith, praying consistently all day and night, you will be able to meet Gina. This will be a high honor. You will gain my favor and I will hear you. Praying for the saints in these transitional times before the rise of Christ's kingdom cannot be overstated. I need you to pray for everything at every turn, day and night. If I awaken you, pray. If I bring a thought to your mind, pray for it. If I bring you a person, pray for them. If you have needs or stresses, pray for them. If you find you or someone on your mind is in a spiritual battle, pray. Be my prayer choir. Prayer is your most effective weapon. Do not babble about. 
Pray from the heart. Pray with deep and sincere faith that I will do it. Pray not for selfish appetites. Pray for practical provisions. Pray for people to come to me. Pray for protections and miracles. Pray like never before. Pray with the same intensity you worship. Pray with the same confidence with which you walk. You know the ground will hold you. Know that I am your ground and I will uphold you. Pray aggressively against the enemy and his armies. They are fierce. Pray for them to be restrained and taken to the pit. Pray in confidence with my son's name. His name has power. Pray his name at the enemy. Remind them that they have no power over you because you belong to Jesus. Call down my power against them in Jesus' name. Pray for your entire city and for the saints worldwide. Pray for their protection from the evil one and his agents. Pray with my strength and my authority against them. The fight has always been spiritual. The invisible spaces where rarely a man considers to remember, the war rages daily. Remember, there is nothing for me that is irritating, depressing, a physical ailment, a moody or angry person in your presence. All of this is the evil one using the world and people he indwells or oppresses. He whispers in their ear and he uses the physical world against mine. All of this is spiritual warfare. When people are harsh, do not speak back flippantly. Pray for the spirit that is behind their behavior to be bound. Your knee-jerk reaction is not to react as those in the world. Your reaction should be to pray. No matter what you face, pray. This is how Julie and Gina both got through being sifted by the evil one at every turn they prayed to me. Allow the difficulties in your path to bring you to prayer. You can do this quickly and immediately without anyone knowing, silently, in your mind, right where you are. This is called walking in prayer. This does not replace your regular prayer time with me. Your regular prayer time with me needs to have a personal time of quiet reflection. You should evaluate if you have need for any repentance. Then pray to me with your needs, prayers, and supplications. You can pray on a myriad of issues for yourself, the saints, the church, the spiritual fight, any concerns you have, bring them to me. When you have finished with the cares of your heart, take time in silence to listen to hear my voice. Do not clutter your mind with music, with lyrics while praying. Do not allow distractions of the mind. This is from the evil one. If your mind begins to drift immediately, call out for me to bind the distraction. Understand that your time in prayer with me is extraordinarily important. If you are having a hard day, do not skip this. You probably need it more. Regarding it as a high priority, for in truth you are a mere human, are speaking with the God of the universe. Use appropriate reverence. I am not your buddy or pal. As the modern churches teach, I am God, and although you can speak of your heart to me in your own way, disrespect will not bring favor. Walking in prayer is a lifestyle. With the base of regular habits of prayer and listening to me, when you are going about your daily activities, you should be constantly evaluating what is going on in the spiritual realm and pray through it. Walking in prayer will change your life. Many of your age do not recognize they are in a constant war. Praying all day will change your responses toward the difficulties. It will change them to being biblical responses. Praying all day will also change the spiritual climate around you. This type of prayer draws my angels to fight on your behalf. This regular prayer without ceasing is how to take back the ground you walk upon for Christ and eradicate evil. They will strike out again and again at you. But once you are armed with proper prayer and you call out to Jesus and use his name and call down my power, you will continually conquer. No weapon forged against you can prosper. Believe this. It is true. Tap into the power of prayer. When my 
faithful pray, mighty changes occur in the spiritual. Pray. Hope that's encouraging and I'll see you next time.